Looks like the Briley's are out, sir. Oh, we'll catch up with them later on. In the meantime, Troy, has it occurred to you that someone actually threatened to kill Peter Drinkwater while we were actually there? I ever get my hands on the little bastards who did this, I'll kill him. Edward Allardyce? Yeah. Let's take his property back to him. I want to know why he lied about that white van. Or obfuscated, you mean? What I say is, I think we ought to put it to the vote. The judges will be arriving the day after tomorrow. The question is, do we call the whole thing off? No, it's too late to cancel. It's not just us, it's the whole village. You don't think the fact that we've just had a brutal murder committed won't damage our chances just a teeny bit? Well, they don't need to know. The judges, nobody needs to tell them. That's right. What do you think, Miss Drinkwater? Well, I suppose I'm thinking of the children. The village orchestra. We've been rehearsing for months. And, well, I, I know it was Peter who was killed. My own flesh and blood. I had to go and identify the body and... <coughs> Steady on, old thing. Shall I get you a drink? No, I'm all right. Peter never did anything for the village. And it seems to me that if we let his death spoil Saturday, well, he's, he's still spoiling things, even though he's gone. So I'm afraid I agree with Ray. Well, are we ready to put it to the vote? Let's take the eyes first. I say this is a perfect village. We have no reason to be ashamed. I'm with that. And me. Yes, I say we go on. Well, I say you're all crazy. You can't have music and chicken wings three days after a murder. That's a no, then. It doesn't make any difference. Ray, Bella, Mary and me, that's a majority. And I'm afraid I'm with the others, Laura. So, the eyes have it. Judgment Day goes ahead. I very much appreciate this, Mr. Barnaby. Well, just look upon it as part of the service, sir. What about the rest of it? It's at the station. You'll have to come in and sign for it. Well, I suppose it's all ended fairly satisfactorily. Yes, though not for Peter Drinkwater, would you say? For the man who broke in. Yes, I'm sorry. You did say you wanted to kill him, though. Oh, that was just words. Anyway, I, I didn't know who he was. I was wondering. You say you saw the white van. He got part of the number, but you didn't recognise the van itself. Though you must have seen it often enough around the shop. What exactly are you suggesting, Detective Chief Inspector? Are you sure you weren't at home that night? You could have been here. You could have seen them. I told you I was in London. There was no one else in the house. I live alone. My wife, Jane, died in a car accident. I was almost killed myself. And I resent your questions. In fact, if you don't mind, I think I'd like you to leave. Now. gone. But we'll have to be careful. They might be coming back. <laughs> 